we present a young couple going about something that is for them an everyday task. The point is, what is the task? Putting up equipment for a pole squatting marathon? Raising the main support for a circus tent? Or is it a do-it-yourself kit for getting into outer space? Well, the preparation was, believe it or not, for a wedding reception. And this daring young infant on the flying trapeze should put you in the picture. The marriage was held quite conventionally in a nearby church, but the reception is highly unconventional. The reason being that newlywed Mr. and Mrs. Brasnett, professionally known as Leonie and Tanya, are high mast performers and are, as often as not, up the pole. The baker responsible for making the cake would probably shed tears of pure vanilla essence to see this piece of vandalism but there is absolutely no cause for alarm. This cake has got something and is really going up in the world. An elegantly draped soapbox is pressed into service as a high table. The bridesmaids are apparently quite content to be on terra firma, while the uh, paraphernalia is cranked up into position. One should feel on top of the world on one's wedding day, and anyway, no aerialist worthy of the name likes to be grounded for too long, so the young couple head for the clouds. The aerialists are in their element, and the cake is duly cut 50 feet above the ground. This, incidentally, is one reception where any guest can get a case of torticollis any time at all. No, it's not a crate of exotic drink, but a fruity term for a stiff neck. If you want to try this, take a bit of advice from us. Get yourself a 50-foot chair, a 50-foot table, and, of course, a 50-foot cake. So much simpler. <laughs>